So let's just go back to that breaking news we brought to you a few minutes ago, uh, that the political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniya, uh, we're getting reports, has been killed in Iran. That's according to statements from Hamas and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Iran State TV is also reporting he's been assassinated in Tehran. So let me repeat that because this is a big story. Uh, the political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniya, has been killed in Iran. That's according to statements from both Hamas and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Iran State TV is also reporting that he has been assassinated in the Iranian capital. Well, Ismail Haniya, uh, the political leader of Hamas, uh, has now died at the age of, eight, of 62. Jaleed Eger takes a look back at Haniya's life and the events which shaped him into one of the most prominent Palestinian political figures. This is what happened to the al Shati refugee camp in northern Gaza during Israel's war in 2023. It's where Ismail Haniya was born. He was the son of Palestinian parents who were forcibly displaced from their home in what is now Ashkelon, after the state of Israel was created in 1948. Haniya experienced firsthand the challenges faced by millions of Palestinians in their search for statehood. But his future and influence would turn out to be different than most. Americans take responsibility for giving unlimited cover to this enemy to commit to these massacres, war crimes and genocide. In 1987, Haniya graduated from the Islamic University of Gaza. The same year, a Palestinian mass uprising began against Israel's occupation, also known as the First Intifada. In its efforts to liberate Palestine, the group Hamas was founded, and among its younger members, Ismail Haniya. His journey would soon become linked to the rise of the Palestinian group. Israel imprisoned Haniya several times for taking part in protests against the occupation. After serving his longest three-year sentence, he was deported to southern Lebanon along with hundreds of Hamas members. Haniya returned to Gaza in 1993 after the signing of the Oslo Accords and became a close confidant of Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, the founder of Hamas. Together, they survived an Israeli assassination attempt though Yassin was killed months later. His rise to prominence came in 2006, when Hamas participated in the Palestinian legislative elections. The group won a parliamentary majority, making Haniya prime minister of the Palestinian Authority. But his appointment angered the international community, who halted aid to the PA, placing the governing body under severe financial strain. Hamas is classified by many Western nations as a terrorist organization. Months of conflict between factions led to President Mahmoud Abbas dismissing Haniyeh and dissolving his government. This would result in an independent Hamas-led government in the Gaza Strip, headed by Haniyeh. This seizure should not break our will and should not turn this conflict into an internal Palestinian conflict and that conflict should be against the parties that impose the siege against the Palestinian people. In 2019, having voluntarily stepped down, Haniya left Gaza and began living abroad, for which he faced substantial scrutiny. Haniya faced criticism for his absence from the Strip during Israel's war on Gaza in 2023. He led Hamas's diplomacy from a number of locations as civilians were massacred in the Strip. Ismail Haniyeh's influence on the history and politics of Palestine will likely stay for years to come. And for many, he will remain a symbol of resistance in the face of occupation and adversity. So let me just give you that breaking news again now. The political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniyeh, has been killed in Iran. That's according to statements from Hamas and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Uh, Iran State TV is also reporting that he's been assassinated in the Iranian capital. Um, so let me just repeat that for you. The political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniya, has been killed uh, in Iran. We're getting statements both from Hamas um, and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Iran State TV 
also reporting that he's been killed in the Iranian capital. Let's head to central Gaza now and speak to Al Jazeera's uh, Hani Mahmoud in Deir al-Bala. Uh, Hani, this is an enormous story. Uh, the political leader of Hamas, Ismail Haniyeh, killed in the Iranian capital. Uh, what sort of response would we like to get there in Gaza? <laughs> Yes, well, this is a sudden turn of events, a quite massive for the people of Gaza here who are uh, perceiving this man as the, the head of not only just the political bureau of Hamas, but also he is the leading the negotiations that they are viewing that hopefully at some point is going to be a much more uh, a solid into uh, leading a ceasefire deal that will put an end to this relentless war across the Gaza Strip. This man is viewed by the majority of Palestinians across the Gaza Strip and the West Bank as the, the moderate leaders who is much more pragmatic compared to other, uh, other leaders uh, who, who seem to be much more uh, uh, into the military side of, of the movement. Uh, it, it, it definitely is resonating in, in a very, very negative way right now. And we just I heard a couple of the comments that here that there is uh, no further negotiations that is going to be and the hope that they were waiting that it could have been reached within the coming days as there are uh, taking a place the scene is going to uh, be very, very difficult. It, 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 the response that we were hearing from, from people that this war is is taking a, 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 another turn right now, and and the hope that they had at any point that there was going to be some sort of of an end or a de-escalation that is not going to happen. And uh, ahead of us, there are much more difficult, uh, much more difficult. Uh, dates uh, definitely when it comes to the negotiations of the for the ceasefire deal for any potential future uh, for the the, the Palestinian uh, people across the Gaza Strip uh, or the, the West Bank. Um, Hani, I mean, how do Palestinians there in Gaza? I mean, he's the political leader of Hamas, but but how do Palestinians there in Gaza uh, view Ismail Haniyeh? He's 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 not actually in Gaza. I mean, he was killed in Tehran, and he and he lives outside of the occupied territories. But how do Palestinians view him, and what's his what's his history and his family history there in Gaza? Because we know a lot of his family have been killed uh, in Israeli airstrikes since the start of the war on October seventh. Well, Hania, not only he is re representing a political uh, side of, of the, the Palestinian people here, he's not, uh, not not only at the top of the, the pyramid of the uh, of Hamas movement, but also as a popular figure here. He's coming from a refugee camp. He grew up with the vast majority of people who were who are uh, in fact the uh, the descendant, the children of uh, the the refugee families who were displaced from the Palestinian territories in in 1948 he much lived uh, he, he lived much through the uh, the suffering and the terrible living conditions of Palestinians as uh, before the Israeli military withdrew from uh, from Gaza lived through the first intifada the second one been in prison with many people he's very popular uh, with even with with those who are uh, rival with, uh, with with Hamas, include, uh, including including uh, Fatih and the PA, but he's still viewed as the the pragmatic, the realistic uh, leader, and 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 the the one that who's who's, who's always uh, in, in, on the side of the the Palestinian uh, interest, despite the the political differences. Uh, and his 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 assassination today will is is, is resonating. Uh, a, a, a quite quite a lot, and and it, 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 it's not it's not leading into anything positive right right now. It's particularly at this at this difficult times for the past nine months, almost ten months right now. This genocidal war has taken place. It killed uh, many of his family members, including his own children and his uh, his, his grandchildren, and more recently his his sister. Uh, many of the people here predicted that the uh, the Israeli military would at some point uh, get to uh, Ismail Haniya and, 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 and assassinate him, but not in that fast pace. No, nobody imagined that it would be actually happening within this uh, short span uh, of time. 
And, and, and what does this then mean, Hanny, um, for any hopes uh, for uh, the nearly... Uh, f- uh, for the nearly 40,000 people who have died, of course, and the nearly 100,000 injured uh, and people suffering uh, during this war. What does this now mean for any hope of de-escalation, for any hope uh, of a ceasefire in Gaza? Well, right now, it's it's quite difficult to predict what's going to happen from uh, one point that this, for a lot of people, this is taking a, a sudden turn and it's going to lead into much more uh, a, a brave situation that the Israeli military uh, it will not show any sign of, of slowing down or, 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 or looking down the, 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 the war across the Gaza Strip. But uh, we heard repeatedly in the past that the, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin, Netanyahu insisted on getting to the top leadership of Hamas, and that that would be uh, the absolute victory that he is, uh, is searching for. Then, and it's one of the objectives that he has put forward since day one of this uh, of this war across the Gaza Strip. Smaila is a well-known figure. He is very uh, well-known among Israelis themselves, and for uh, a lot of people right now, it it seems to be like uh, this figure who's been eliminated is, is also his name is resonating widely in Israel and that might put more pressure on on the, uh, through on the prime minister the prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu by building more uh, public pressure uh, that the, the objective of the war has been has been achieved and here is the the top leaders leadership of Hamas has been eliminated and we might be on our way for a, a, cease, a ceasefire deal but that is still unclear but but based on what we heard from the past uh, well if the Israeli military is able to get to a, a prominent figure uh, and we know uh, a, 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 the Israeli prime minister insisted on on getting to uh, Yahya Sanwar, for example, who is representing the leadership in the, in the Gaza Strip, and, and that was going to be the one of the, the ways to put an end to this this war. But right now, getting to the top leadership uh, seems to be uh, much more uh, uh, much more a uh, big and and, and 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 massive news for not only for the Palestinians but also for for the Israeli public opinion. All right, uh, uh, Hani uh, Mahmoud there uh, in Gaza. Hani, thank you for that. Let's bring in... uh